We didn't have any collaborations on Sleeping With Ghosts. And uh, it wasn't a conscious plan to, to have an, on this album either. But in some ways, the, there were two tracks on the album that, that were calling out for, for another voice, to, for being a, a duet. And um, in the case of Broken Promise, uh, it started off with a thought of it being a duet between a man and a woman. It's a song about inf infidelity. And uh, as the song progressed and as we lived with it, and crucial part of the story was when we were in Paris and in the same hotel as R.E.M. We'd known Michael Stipe since 97, since we worked on Velvet Goldman, the film that we were in, and he was producing. Steve came up with the idea, just thinking, and why not, why not Michael? Why not a man? And it kind of just sort of clicked with us and said, well, yes, that's, uh, that makes the whole thing more interesting. It gives a new, a new twist, you know. I mean, infidelity works, I mean, it happens. In, in straight relationship, gay, bisexual, or whatever, and it, it was a, uh, um, a more interesting uh, avenue for us to go, go down. And, and we asked him, and, and he, uh, he, you know, he, um, he conveyed interest, and he liked the track, and he came down, and it was an absolute pleasure to, to record with him. It took a day, and um, he's a lovely man, and it was, it was very easy, and uh, he was a perfectionist, and I think we got the best out of him and the track all that being a weird track it's, it's kind of half Eric Satie piano bass and then it goes into like a big Metallica chorus so it's a really fucked up track but that was a re real pleasure and, 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 and it really worked growing up listening to R.E.M. it was just to actually be able to sing with him was just the most incredible thing for me Michael had such a huge effect on, on you know the development of my voice and my singing style um, that you know to be able to sort of like to share the same space on a record with him is just you know it's a real buzz. On, on the day I mean, we, we expected kind of Michael to come in and sort of do his do his vocal and then split but he kind of insisted on staying for like five hours and getting it right you know what was great about Michael is that he'd do a take and he'd turn around and go you know what what do you think and we go it's good and he'd go like okay we have to do it again good is not good enough I want to hear you say it's great that kind of dedication was you know we were really impressed by that you know because you know, he, d he didn't have to do that, you know, he was just, it was just so obvious that he was really enjoying himself and uh, was really, really into the track and, you know, without pretension and just completely uh, just there. It felt, it felt very relaxed. On the song Meds, the, the title track of the album, we've got Vivi, a.k.a. Alison Mosshart from The Kills. Um, duetting with me, which is, uh, she, her voice is just like pure sonic Viagra, I think, you know, she's really uh, a magnificent singer, uh, a joy to work with, very, very easy, very, very down to earth, and, um, you know, very approachable, and uh, I think she just really, you know, her, her joining this song, you know, it's kind of, it, it made it into a real story, you know, and uh, it just makes total sense now. It's a voice that, that complements Brian's very well, and also a person that we've known for a while, because she's in the band with, with Jamie, aka Hotel, who's, who went to college with Brian many years ago, and we've followed him through his different bands since then, and uh, The Kills being the latest one, and the best one we think, uh, supported Placebo a couple of years ago, and there yeah, well, we got to know Vivi. Um, when, we, when it came to meds, recording it, uh, we thought of her, and she came down, uh, ball jack down in hand, and uh, did in a couple takes, and uh, a very sexy, husky, grainy voice, and you know, a very kind of rock and roll approach and uh, attitude, and which fits the song perfectly.